I have this Fujitsu inverter mini split air conditioner, which had come to me for repair. The outdoor motherboard was bad in this air conditioner unit. I have repaired the motherboard. I replaced its IPM and some resistors in the motherboard, and it started to turn on. Before this the outdoor was not turning on. Now it is turning on, but the air conditioner is showing an error problem. Let me show you what the problem is shown in this Fujitsu air conditioner. I will turn on the electric switch to let the electricity flow into the air conditioner. The electricity has turned on by dropping the electric button downward. The air conditioner has started to operate. You can see 287 DC volts flowing through the IPM of the motherboard. Now I am checking the display of this Fujitsu air conditioner. The economy light is blinking continuously. The operation light is blinking one time. The timer light is also blinking one time. This means that this is a communication error. The customer has sent this indoor unit and the outdoor motherboard and told me to repair it. Now after repairing, it is still not working. So how will I fix this problem? The indoor unit is telling. The outdoor unit or the wire is not attached to it. Other than this, the motherboard is problematic. But when I see the motherboard, it is absolutely fine. As I told you, it was dead before. Let me further show you the voltages at the IPM. I am checking the 15 volts here. Maybe the SMPS of the circuit is working, but not passing the 15 volts. 11.71 volts are passing through this pin. 11.7 volts are flowing here too. The voltages on the UVW pins are fine. I can conclude this that the IPM and the other components in this motherboard are fine. Next, I will check the communication of this motherboard. I will attach the black probe with the neutral, red probe on the third communication terminal. High voltages are passing through the communication in Fujitsu. It can be checked both on the AC and DC volts. I am checking it on AC as high voltages pass through the AC line. The voltages fluctuate on the multimeter, which means both the indoor and the outdoor motherboards communicate with each other. But the indoor is showing the communication error on the display. Now let me tell you what the company doesn't want you to know about its control board. I have removed the electric plug from the electric board. Let me show you its motherboard. The outdoor motherboard is the second edition. And the indoor motherboard is the third edition. This is why it is not working, and the company does not want you to know about it. The outdoor motherboard seems to be the same as the third edition. And you can't judge what the difference is in the motherboard. The difference is in the programming of the third and second edition motherboards. Hence the communication does not match one another. And see, the fault is that both the indoor and the outdoor motherboards are different. Now I will attach the outdoor motherboard with the second edition indoor motherboard and check whether it works fine or not. I have power on the unit again. I have removed the wire from this indoor unit. I have another indoor unit. I have installed wires with this indoor unit. Now to make you explain whether this indoor is a first, second or third edition motherboard. I didn't attach the communication wire to the indoor unit. Let me show you what error does it shows now. The timer light is blinking two times now. It is confirmed through this error code that the motherboard in the indoor unit is the second edition. Now I have started the unit again and installed the communication wire with the indoor motherboard. And in some time, we will get to know the result. The operation light on the display is glowing now, which is the red colored LED. The fan blower has also started to operate in the indoor unit. And as I see the communication on the multimeter, the voltages fluctuate the same as before. We can't tell what signal are both indoor and outdoor communicating, but through the fluctuation of the voltages, we know that both the motherboards of the indoor and the outdoor unit are communicating fine. Now I will wait for the outdoor unit to start. The outdoor fan motor has started working. The compressor has also started to work. But we can't operate the unit for so long as the heat sink is not installed on the motherboard. Now I have fit the motherboard. And I think you understood what I told you. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos. And subscribe. Thank you.